welcome to my villa, Lawson's Kitchen. Yes, my villa. This entire lockdown, I have been quite villa. So I thought maybe I should bake something, you know, because you always need a bit of cake in anything you do. So today we will be baking with my villa. We will be using a peanut butter and, um, oh dear, it's over. Just in case I thought that I'd finished the other one, I got myself a new one. So don't worry, I've got some more peanut butter. Mm. Just so you know, this is absolutely delicious and you're not getting any of it. I'm going to eat all of it. Just to start off, um, I'm going to take two spoonfuls of peanut butter because two is just not enough. Some flour. I'm going to pop the flour in into my bowl right here. There you go. And it's just so easy. Just like that, you've got flour and peanut butter. And remember, it's always going to be messy because what is cooking without any mess or fun, isn't it? Well, let's get on with it then perhaps too messy. I'm going to use um, um, an, an egg. It's called an egg. Um, if you go down, your underwala will come down to your doorstep because you cannot go out. So your underwala will give you some eggs. So just go and get out of the house and get yourself an egg. It's that simple. course you need some chocolate because life is nothing without some chocolate lots and lots of chocolate oh you just need some chocolate can you get some chocolate all the chocolate you might get tempted to have a little chocolate yourself but i'd say that you never do it never never have some chocolate before actually baking your dish people would know. You know, baking always reminds me of some old stories. And you know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of the time when I'd go to the restaurant and order myself a fresh piece of cake because I didn't have to cook any of it. And I'd get it without any efforts whatsoever. And I'd just have to go to the restaurant and purchase it. Uh, when are the restaurants going to open? <laughs> <laughs> Now, of course, you need to pop inside some butter because what is a cake without butter? Just some butter, some glorious butter. And you might not want to put the other ingredients, but if you just have butter, you're fine. Well, I recommend that while cooking, of course, leave the butter outside way in advance because you want it to be nice and soft. Or, you know, while cooking, if you haven't, if you haven't uh, placed it outside the refrigerator, it might be really, really hard and difficult to cut. And just like that, my friends, I have this beautiful, beautiful golden batter that is just ready to be baked in the oven. Look at that. Look at that beautiful golden colour. Wow. It's just, ah, oh, it smells divine. Well, thank you everyone for watching. Um, I hope that you go home and bake yourself some cake as well, because I know that you are as Vela as me. So go home and bake some cake. Don't have to worry about the weight. Just eat it.